Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I'm gonna do something a little different. I have done a luxury regrets video, but I wanted to film a video of five luxury bags that I thought I would regret and don't. And I know what you guys are thinking, you're like, why would you buy a bag you think you're gonna regret? Well, you know how sometimes you have a bag that you really want, but you're a little on the fence about the bag because of like one particular reason. But you end up purchasing the bag, but you're a little worried that you're gonna regret it. But I have five bags here that have pleasantly surprised me. Each of the bags have a particular reason why I thought I might regret them, but they ended up working out, and I will share all of those with you. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you wanna hear what my five luxury bags are that I thought I would regret, but didn't, then keep watching. Okay. One thing I wanted to share, so I think I mentioned in a recent vlog that my lighting, I had broke both soft boxes. Well, I ended up getting new ones and they're pretty affordable. I have to show you this, watch this. There are three different settings. So one of them is like a bright light. Then you can like switch it to like a yellow light with a remote and then you have more of like a warmer tone. Pretty cool, right? I like this one. But I just wanted to share that with you because I have always struggled with finding decent lights and I actually think this is pretty good so let me know your thoughts. I have had my same camera for ages and I really don't want to invest in a new camera and the way my house is I have a hard time finding a window to like sit in front of like just with like a decent background. So anyway I'm really excited about these lights. If you guys are interested I will link them down below. Okay let's go ahead and get into this. Now the first bag I want to mention is actually a bag. It's a more recent purchase but I have been reaching for this bag nonstop, and it is my Your Lady Delight bag in the Canage Raffia. I, you know, you guys came on this little journey with me where you helped me pick my summer bag and I was torn on which bag to get, but I ultimately settled for this one because I thought that it would match with a lot of my outfits. I tend to dress a little more in bright colors, so this would suit my lifestyle the best. But the thing I was worried about, I was actually worried about a couple of things. Number one, I was worried about the cream colored handles, and then it also does have a cream colored strap as well. So I was worried about like color transfer and like what's gonna happen if I carry a top handle, am I gonna get it dirty? And then number two, I was just worried that this bag might be a little too dressy and I wouldn't really be able to make it work, work crossbody. But I have actually crossed both of those things off the list and let me tell you why. I did something to this bag a lot of people frown on, but I did spray my entire bag with Apple Guard and so far it has been great. And the reason I sprayed it is I wanted to be able to use it and not baby it. If I didn't spray it, I knew that I was gonna be constantly be worried. And you guys, I have worn this so much. I wore this recently with a yellow dress. I wore it on a date night with my husband and it has been great. So I don't have to worry about that. I also was worried I wouldn't really be able to wear it crossbody and that's my favorite way to wear it. Like, I mean, I knew I could wear it crossbody, but I was worried it wouldn't work. And the other day I filmed a vlog, I took it out, I wore it crossbody and it completely worked. And I just love the looks of this bag. It's so summery. And another thing I shared with you guys, I found the perfect shoes to match. I don't have them, let me grab them, hold that thought. Okay, I'm back. I found these Sam Edelman slides that match perfectly. And I've been wearing these two together. And even if I don't wear those slides, I have some wedges that match too, but this bag has just been so great. I've really been loving it. I did do a first impressions where I share with you the pros and cons. Now, are there some cons? Yes, absolutely there are some cons with this bag, but I have really been gravitating towards it so much. I love this style. I think it's classy, yet I have found I've been able to you know, wore, wear it with more of my casual dresses as well, but yet also wear it when I go on a date night with my husband. So I have absolutely been loving this bag. I'm so glad I purchased it, especially before the price increase. Next bag I wanna mention is an older bag. It's one of my favorite bags, but I thought that I would regret it, and let me tell you why. It is the YSL camera bag in this beautiful cinnamon suede. So I was looking for the perfect fall bag. I got this a couple years ago. This color is just so scrumptious and it screams fall, but the reason I thought I would regret the bag is because of the suede. We all know suede bags don't really hold up very well, but mine surprised, oh! <laughs> 
mine surprisingly has held up pretty well. I actually did not spray this bag, but I am considering spraying it just because all of my other bags have held up so well. But the reason I love this bag is I've mentioned to you before that this screams pumpkin patch. I have one outfit that I wore with this where I had like a white top. I had this bag. I also had like a flannel shirt I tied around my waist and I wore it to the pumpkin patch and it just puts me in the fall mood. I have also worn this with dresses as well. I reach for this all the time. So not only is it the perfect color, but also the camera bag is just so good. I will insert an overlay of what fits. This is just such a good bag. I love that it fits nicely on your body. It doesn't have a removable strap, but the strap is adjustable it does have this tassel but can be a little annoying like sometimes when you're walking it's like it like hits the bag but it is removable so if it gets on your nerves you can take it off but again the biggest thing for me was the suede I thought that I wouldn't reach for it because of that but I have worn this with jeans dresses everything and I just love the color and I'm so glad that I got it and again I got this before the price increase too it is crazy looking back at bags that I bought and what the prices are now I actually did a video I want to say it was like a year ago where I compared older what I bought the bag what they are now I think there's a tag video going around but I actually already feel I already filmed that video so in case you're interested in checking it out make sure to do so but I am so glad I got this bag this is definitely one that I was worried I might regret because of the suede but I love it Okay, and you know what I love about handbags? Like, a lot of times I will try to buy handbags for special occasions or special trips I go on. So now when I think of the bag, I always think back to that occasion, whether it be a trip or a birthday or something like that. And the next bag I want to mention, and I was worried I might regret it, is the Chanel Deauville in this beautiful pink. Now, the reason I thought I would regret it is because I'm not a tote girl. You guys know I am a crossbody gal through and through. I don't really carry totes too much, but I was attracted to this color and I actually purchased this when I was in Vegas and it was one of those bags that anytime I walked past the store, I would like peek in and I would see it and I tried it on multiple times. I think in my vlog, I tried it on a couple of times if I'm not um, mistaken, but this color is so pretty, but I have been wearing this so much and I have found that even though it's pink and you would think you would only wear it with stuff that matches this. I have worn this bag with like a yellow dress and it paired nicely. You can wear it with a white dress. I have worn it with purple dress. You can wear it casual. You can wear it dressy. But I love the fact that it has a top handle so you can wear it on the crook of your arm. Plus it has this little guy right here so you can wear it on your shoulder. It's very, very versatile. And I have, I don't have any pilling on the bag or anything like that. The bag does come with like a little pouch. I will be honest, I don't really use the pouch that much. It is handy to have in case you wanna throw hand sanitizer, lipstick, anything like that in it. I do, this is ironic, you guys know me, <laughs> how much I love my change. I have a bunch of loose change at the bottom, but I have an organizer for it, so that's gonna help keep the interior of the bag um, clean. But I reach for this so much more than I thought I really do. I have actually taken this when I travel as well, but again, because I wasn't a tote girl, I was like, oh my gosh, am I just buying it for the color? But the answer is no, I have used it quite a bit and I'm so happy that I purchased it. Okay, I have two more bags to share. This next bag, I know when I mention what it is, you're gonna be like, oh, wait a minute, you've wanted that for a long time, but, so you guys know how much I wanted the YSL College bag. I've actually had quite the journey with the YSL College bag. It's like, did I want the large? And then I returned the large and I ended up getting the large envelope bag. And then I ordered the black in this bag, but remember it had been used, so I sent it back. So then I ended up getting this in the beautiful gray. The reason I was worried I would regret it is for two reasons. Number one, I had returned it before. And then number two, I was worried that because this was gray, I wouldn't really wear it that much. But can I just tell you, it is the perfect gray. And I actually do find that I wear it quite a bit. And I'm so glad that I didn't just get black because I already have so many black bags in my collection that I worry that I might not reach for this as much. But this is a unique color. It is a beautiful gray. I don't have anything else in my collection like this. And I was worried because it was gray and it wasn't black that I wouldn't really use it. But that's not the case. This is such a functional bag. It has nice hearty strap that is removable not adjustable it does have this back pocket here which i love top handle 
you open it up and then it does have like compartment here and then a big space here. So I really, really love this bag. I'm so glad I waited for the perfect color because this was the perfect color. It just made it so much more special. So this is a bag that I thought I would regret because of A, I got gray and not black. And then B, because I had returned it, I was worried that I might not love it, but I really do. It is a great one. The fifth bag that I thought that I would regret is my Chanel Classic Flap in a Neon Blue. I thought that I would regret it for one main reason, and that is because I already have a Tiffany Blue Chanel in the mini rectangular, but I was worried. I'm like, oh my gosh, these bags are too similar. Am I really going to reach for both of them? And the answer is yes, I do. First off, I am a Tiffany Blue fiend. As you can see, I have Tiffany blue. I have a bracelet. I have a Tiffany blue necklace. I love like Tiffany blue accessories, anything Tiffany blue I'm obsessed with. So when I saw this bag in a neon blue, I was like, my jaw just dropped. And I thought this is such a special bag, but am I going to wear it? Now I will be honest. I don't wear it as much as I would love to wear it just because it doesn't go with a ton, but I was worried that I would maybe just wear one or the other and that's not the case. The good thing is with my mini rectangular, that is a single flap. I can wear that one crossbody. This one is a double flap and I mainly wear it as a shoulder bag, but I wore this to my daughter's graduation. I think I wore this in a recent vlog as well. It goes fantastic with a neutral dress, like a white dress. It's just a nice pop of color. But my main worry was I wasn't going to reach for it because they had similar colors and that was not the case. Everybody needs that special bag in your collection that represents you. And you guys know I love pink, of course, but Tiffany blue, when I had the opportunity to get a Chanel classic flap in a Tiffany blue, I just could not resist. And it has the silver hardware, which is just beautiful. So this one is a double flap. As you can see, you open it there. I just, oh, I absolutely love it. So again, this is one I thought I would regret because I have another bag very similar, but I have not regretted it and I'm so happy I added it to my collection. Okay guys, there you have it. Those are my five bags that I thought I would regret, but don't. And I would love to hear your thoughts. Are there any bags in your collection that you thought you would regret, but you don't? I would really, really love to hear it because we all know when we buy handbags, we try to plan, we try to think it through. Sometimes we do end up regretting bags. I'm definitely looking at my closet now and I do have a couple regrets. So maybe I will have to do an updated luxury regrets video. I did do one, I wanna say last year, if you wanna check out that one, but, I wanted to do something nice for you, so I wanted to kind of sprinkle this in just as a as a token of my appreciation for taking the time to watch my videos and comment. I wanted to do a special giveaway for you guys, and I'm going to give one lucky winner this Dior J'adore set. It actually comes with the Eau de Parfum. It comes with the body milk as well as another mini one, so let me open it. I always have a hard time with these boxes, but this box is so, so pretty. You see, that is like a work of art. I actually have another one that I should definitely put on display, but you can see you get this whole little gift so you guys can keep it for yourself or if you want to gift it to somebody, you definitely can, but there's going to be one lucky winner. And like I said, I, I like to try to do giveaways as much as I can. I like to do these periodically, so I will put all the rules down below, but I do try to kind of keep it on the down low because there are so many scammers out there where if they get word that someone is doing a giveaway, they're going to try to kind of take over and get people's money. So please know, I'll put the details down below, but I will never ever ask you guys for any type of money, okay? So I'm just going to randomly select the person and then I will contact you through direct message on Instagram. You guys will give me your address and then I will mail you this beauty. So like I said, I love doing this from time to time. Uh, YouTube is my little side hobby and I do have a full-time job, but I love doing YouTube so much. I can't even tell you when I'm done filming the video, I'm already thinking what's the next video I can film. It's just my little escape where I can talk about all things luxury and beauty and fashion. And I love this community because you guys have the same interest as well. So I like to give back where I can. I definitely do. So hopefully one of you would be interested in this. So again, I will put the 
details in the description so make sure to expand that to see how to enter so thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well over there I share more day to day you get more of a glimpse behind the scenes into my life so have a good day guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video I was looking like a fool when I met ya I'll cover it up in the dirt from my past So insecure about myself when I met ya